What's up, everybody? So I know uh, a few of you have had some problems with things on the desktop of the Xbox, so I wanted to help. Uh, first off being um, how to make recordings, quick recordings. You know, when you double tap the Xbox button and then uh, hit X, make those recordings longer. So let's go into all settings, and we're going to go down to... Oh, where is it? Hold on, i got to move something here. There, go move menu. There we go. Okay. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Where's DVR? Uh, game streaming and DVR preferences. So record that. I think it comes set to 15 or 30 stock, but just push it on down to the five. Unfortunately, that's the longest you can really make it. But um, yeah, not so bad as long as you're paying attention and uh yeah you can string them together also uh upload studio it's uh fairly easy to use the transitions and such in upload studio and then uh not upload them to uh to live if you don't want them uploaded to the live community but you still want to be able to say use the transitions and stuff um it is relatively easy check this out okay so i'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this really quick just so that I can show how it's done here. So let's pick something random. I'm going to try to find something small, something short, uh, just to show this. Yeah, fuck, that'll do. Right. So, how'd you think? Let's go down and quickly add a transition. Now, of course, you could use the other things in here, too, like the intros and outros and all of that crap, but for the sake of this, I'm just showing quickly how we add a transition and how to upload this to your OneDrive without uh, uploading it to the live community. You know, in case you want people to pay for it on YouTube instead of just taking all of your work for free. Anyways, here we go. So we hit finish. Uh, click upload to OneDrive. And then we click next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upload. And then we need to let it render. I'll time lapse this part. And then um, we also need to allow the upload to um, upload studio to get to about 10%. Alright, so like I said, at about the 10% mark, I'm going to go unplug my network cable for a sec. Actually, about 10 seconds. <laughs> and plug it back in. If you're using Wi-Fi, I mean, you could do the same thing by, I guess, just disconnecting your, your system from Wi-Fi. So apparently my network, I had a total conniption when I did that and booted me offline. So I guess I waited too long. I don't know, maybe try like 7 seconds or 6 seconds. But as you can see, the uh, upload symbol is X'd out saying that, you know, it couldn't upload. And uh, once the OneDrive upload is complete, it will say there were errors. Do you want to try again? Just hit no, discard changes and start over. And... Um, Wham! It'll be uploaded into your OneDrive where you can download it to whatever editing program you see fit uh, in order to finish it up and get it up on YouTube. I'm going to hit cancel now though just because I don't really need this up in my OneDrive. And I used a different clip uh, for the sake of time. Cancel upload. Yeah. Anyways, anything else I wanted to show you on the desktop? Uh, not really right now. If anybody has any questions or anything about, god damn it, any questions about anything to do with your desktop or with the Xbox One, um, just hit me up, let me know. What's up everybody? So I'd like to finish off this video just by kind of mm, showing everybody the other apps that I use to get this stuff done for the phone, uh, screen recorder 5 free app it's not the best quality but for what i'm doing right now it works out so uh, the app i use for editing the videos is an app called 
uh, kind master hmm. you can't use it as a free version you're stuck with a, a watermark in the corner of your screen and some of the uh, effects and stuff aren't available but it's still a good app I do recommend the subscription though it's only like $50 a year or something and it's very much worth it you got a lot of different stuff to choose from here so I'm just going into my media browser uh, grab my intro and grab the videos I just recorded and that would be I believe this one yeah whatever this one and this one And I'm just going to set some quick transitions in here. If you watch my channel, you know I tend to use this one for my intro. And then... Come on, give me another break. There's the other break. What the heck. There we go. There's a lot to choose from, right? You've got all these different grid options. Bear in mind too, I'm using a, a beta version. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff in here that may not be in your standard version, but the beta version is pretty easy to sign up for. Uh, let's see. Just trying to quickly throw together some transitions here. The fun transitions are, I, I don't know, they're all right. For, not for what I'm doing though. They don't really have a professional look to them, per se. Um, but as you can see, it was pretty easy to quickly put together a video. I mean, bearing in mind too, I've been using this for quite some time, but the transitions are pretty neat. Um, uh, and you can also add in audio here. Uh, I get all this stuff that, uh, I use in my videos from a, a website called Epidemic Sound, and it's a it's a subscription service as well. But I get that uh, well, a big thanks to TGN TV because I get that through uh, their sponsorship of my channel. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, hopefully, this helps some more people get some stuff on YouTube. Anyways, enjoy if you haven't already. Subscribe for more.